Hey everyone, Sayun and Boche here. I hope you have enjoyed our adventure in the great province of Manitoba. It was indeed a very exciting and fruitful experience in the heart of Canada. As we have officially concluded our adventure in Manitoba, that means it's time for contest once again. First of all, I'd like to uh, announce the winner of our last polar bear special contest. So congratulations to Cloud from Menomone Falls, Wisconsin. Congratulations, Cloud. And uh, Cloud has already received the prize. But don't worry, we're going to have more prizes coming up. And this time, we're going to have two winners rather than the usual one. But before I'm going to announce the contest rules, I'm going to first share with you uh, some of the uh, useful information I concluded myself during this uh, trip to uh, one of the coldest uh, Canadian provinces. So I'm going to talk about basically what would be the best way to dress up uh, for a place that frequently experiences uh, the Arctic uh, coldness. And if you really only need to choose one type of outfit with you for any uh, journeys to cold places, and uh, which one will be ideal for what kind of situation. In the Manitoba series, you have seen me wearing two types of outfits for the subarctic environment in Canada. This time I'm going to talk about the differences between these two types and which one is the better one if you can only bring one type with you on your next trip to Canada's north. The first type I'm going to show you here is a combination of layers. In this video, I'm wearing a t-shirt, a Polar Tech grade fleece mid-layer, a synthetic down jacket, and a Gore-Tex Pro shell jacket. Like you see in the video, you need to put on each and every single layer every time you need to go out. The truth is that you always need to put on all layers, if not more, in the kind of environment you see in our Churchill videos. Most of the indoor spaces in Churchill, however, are warm that you are probably good enough with just a t-shirt. That means every single time you enter a building from outside, you pretty much need to take off everything again. This multiple layering method works the best if an arctic that kind of cold place is not your only destination. Hey, sometimes you do have plans like visiting the North Pole in the first half of the week and enjoying the beaches in the Caribbean in the second half of the week. You can also adjust easily based on where you need to be, so you can utilize everything you bring depending on where you are. Besides, you constantly need to put on and take off layers. The other downside is during extreme conditions, you will still feel the chill penetrating all the layers. Plus, if you didn't bring enough layers, you will be in serious trouble. The second type I'm going to show you is what you can say is the proper equipment for the Arctic. A combination of high performance layers plus a winter jacket with a proper rating. The jacket you see in the series had a rating of minus 30 degrees Celsius. Because the temperature of Churchill was not minus 30 degrees yet when I visited, therefore I was more comfortable with just one base layer and the jacket than a t-shirt a Polar Tech fleece, a synthetic down jacket, and a Gore-Tex Pro jacket combined. One definite advantage is that when you go from outside to inside, all you have to do is taking off the winter jacket, and that's it. Way more convenient than taking one layer off at a time. Here is my suggestion. Do your research before your trip, especially on what the temperature and the weather would be. Pick the best way that suits both your itinerary and luggage space. If places like Churchill is your main destination during fall, winter, or spring month, I highly recommend you bringing the warmest jacket you have. You've seen how the first type eventually didn't work out in one of the Churchill episodes. I guess it's okay for your luggage to be heavy rather than you being sorry. So like mentioned earlier, uh, we're going to have two winners uh, for this contest. Well, there are actually two parts. We're going to have a winner for each part. And I've got two great prizes this time as well. So the first is going to be a vintage hockey card that features a player from Winnipeg Jets. And the other one will be a uh, face mask that features the polar bear which touched my shoes uh, in one of the episodes. So in order to win a hockey card, there is one episode in our Manitoba series that featured a hockey rink. So you need to find that uh, episode where the hockey rink appeared. 
and comment go Jets in the comment section of that video. And as for the face mask, so if you have watched the series, you will probably notice that uh, there are many um, what I call moments which featured the camera shutter click sound. So in order to be eligible to win a face mask, you need to comment underneath uh, the comment section in this video and tell me how many those moments appeared in our Manitoba series. Also, you need to share with us what you like or what you don't like about our Manitoba adventure. So you have between now and June the 19th to participate in this contest. And on June the 20th, we're gonna draw one winner for each contest and we'll be announcing the winners on our official Instagram page and our official Facebook page. Unlike the previous two contests, this contest is open to anybody who has an address that's deliverable by Canada Post and its global partners across the world. And that's it. This is Said and Boche. If you'd like to uh, participate in more contests and uh, follow me on more of the adventures, please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And of course, check out our Instagram and Facebook pages. The adventure doesn't stop here, and I'll definitely see you in the next adventure.